Welcome to this video on searching with Science Direct. Here we will discover how to conduct a search and how to access and save articles. Starting at the UQ Library homepage, you can access Science Direct through a database search. Clicking available online will take you to the browse page where you can search for journals and books. We are going to skip this page and go directly to the advanced search. On the advanced search page, we can see that there are a range of different fields to conduct your search. At the top is a keyword search, which searches across all fields. I will begin my search by typing in the term climate change. Notice that I've put these terms in quotation marks so that the database knows to search for a phrase rather than the individual words across the various fields. This will help retrieve more relevant results. If you have multiple terms, you can use Boolean operators to join the terms together. If I want to search the topic, how climate change affects the biodiversity in marine mammals of Australia, I can add these terms with the Boolean operator AND. Note, if you're using the Boolean operator NOT to exclude key terms, Science Direct uses AND NOT. For more tips on how to use the Boolean operators in Science Direct, you can click on Search Tips. For this search, I would like to limit the results to those from the last five years. Here is our search results page with the search terms and year limiters at the top in grey. By default, Science Direct sorts the articles by relevance. But if you would like to sort by date, you can do so here. On the left-hand side of the screen are more ways to limit your results. I'm going to limit to articles that UQ subscribe to so that I'll see all full text articles. I'm also going to refine by review articles and research articles. On the search page, I can look at the abstract of the article to see if it does indeed cover the topic I'm interested in. At this stage, I can download the full text article or continue to select all the articles in, of interest and download at one time. Selecting these articles also allows you to export the citation into your bibliographic management software. At UQ, we support EndNote, which means you download the RIS file. However, you're free to choose other management software or export the citation to text. Looking at the record itself, you can gain much more information. Here we see the title of the journal, the volume and the year. Here are the authors and the DOI links. On the left hand side is the article outline with links to figures and tables and other appendices. On the right hand side, Science Direct has recommended articles that are relevant to the key term. It also provides links to articles which have cited this paper. This information will be similar, however, it'll be much more recent. Using this view, we can also see keywords that have been assigned to the paper. This feed can be used to adjust your search if you need more specific results. I can add more terms to the search box if I go back to the results page, I can either add extra terms in this box or go back to the advanced search. If you have any more questions about using ScienceDirect, please contact the library at the librarian email 
librarian at library.uq.edu.au. Thank you and happy searching.